Hello, 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 and welcome to Operation Shattered Priest. Now, this one is a landed abductor touchdown in the uh, middle of the United States. Aliens want more resources. Bad news for them, I also want more resources, and I don't want them to get any at all. So, we're going in to make sure this resource gathering operation goes completely off the rails for them. And that nice, nice cart full of Illyrium and alloys and hastily constructed metaphors rolls straight into my base, into my coffers. So, we're going to get down there with our reasonably competent cobbled together squad. We're going to see what we can do with these guys. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Here, uh, we're going to take our team with our Gauss long rifle, our Gauss machine gun, and our dense smoke medic. Uh, we're going to set them up in good tree cover using these heavy cover trees. Uh, then we're going to send forward a scouting force, uh, most likely just involving Fraggy, the Shiv, uh, using the mobility to scout. We're going to look for things like enemies on this front ramp, enemies on the right and left sides. Once we make contact, we'll try to draw them pod by pod, uh, single pods at a time, obviously. A few enemies as possible. Draw, the f um, draw them back with Fraggy. Use good positions and good range of the machine gun and the Gauss long rifle to engage, dense smoke if things get too hairy, and the mechs are here to roam around, apply heavy firepower where necessary with Wolfer and Jive. Wolfer, of course, not that tanky, hasn't got two absorption fields yet, if he survives this mission, hopefully. Uh, Merlin, though, can tank fairly uh, well. She is only in the mech 2, not the mech 3, but that's still going to tank fairly well, so the general idea here is to just set up a strong sieging position, draw the enemy into it, uh, and then once we've weakened their frontal forces, uh, assuming there are some, we can start to think about pushing into the ship. Nice and easy for the start. Heading out. And no contact from the left for Ivar. Let's continue to move up here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick Kamikaze on this right tree. Already there. Go over here. Hunter's slightly it, back, so you can fall back from any potential overwatches from things like heavy floaters. Voy, and here come the mechs. I'm on the move. Overwatch, Roger. Affirmative. Now. A map of uh, some background for Iku. This is the map where Iku got his nickname. Also, the map where we lost Fuglman. All that time ago. I don't think we've back si been, uh, been back since, actually, come to think of it. But I do remember it like it was yesterday with the outsiders and the floaters over here pinning us, and then the chrysalids coming in on the side. Poor Fugs. Poor Fugs indeed. Keep moving, Fraggy. Okay, we continue to have no contact. Heading to that location. Let's continue to bracket the left and right as we move up to make sure we don't take any unnecessary contact. It's one thing to have a middle guy, but you got to check those left and rights as well before you move up to them. Or else you're just asking for trouble. But it looks like we're all right for this turn. Okay, Kamikaze, we're going to want you to stick with the squad. That five tiles is an infinite squad site, unlike some people. EQ can stay right here. He should be fine. I'll even move him to half cover. Where he's got a better angle. Now I'm not hearing a whole lot out there. There's something out there. We've got lids on our left, apparently. Well, if we can draw them early, that'd be good. Okay, still got no contact here. I'm on the move. Which is a little bit spooky. But we're slowly taking it up right now. You're ready to move to that position in case there is trouble. You're all ready to move. Okay, good. Got it covered. As long as you're all ready, that's good. As long as you're all yes, ready. Commander. Jive's ready to get into heavy cover. Kimikaze's ready to get into heavy cover. As the situation dictates it, we're ready to adapt. Right, 
We're going to continue moving up on this melt here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, we got that meld next turn. Affirmativo, Commandante. On the move. I'm gonna shorten those guys back in. Bring them inside. I think the rest of you will be happy to kind of just sit out here, though. Tell you what, we'll... Sl no, we'll, we'll stay right where we are. We're gonna want to fall back as soon as we make contact, I think. I've healed, Commander. I don't want to get too ballsy here. We haven't made any contact yet, which means there's a lot waiting to be activated. Hey, do you hear anything? Which means we need to walk softly and carry very big gorse guns. Here we go. Chris Lid. It's one down. Maybe six thin men. Four, five, six chrysalids. I thought maybe I saw a six thin men back there, so let's say maybe it was uh, five thin men. And then I know we've got six lids. Five of them are delayed, it's a split pod. That's fine, we can fall back at this point. As always, the mill is a trap. It's never not a trap. We can start the fall back at this point. Obviously, especially with the thin men, we're going to want to do the just that, I think. Unless there's any point in staying out here. We can flank one. We could go in on them. Depending on how much of a flamethrower you get on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure you could flame them, my friend. Otherwise, I'd say that's a marvelous idea. We could flame two of them this turn. Flank and kill another one. Crystals should be easy meat. I don't quite think you'd be able to get them. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would be standing here and it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I mean, it's the heavy. I think the heavy cover will probably protect them in that sense. But we can probably just as easily pull back from this situation, force them to come out, uh, and, you know, to be just as happy. Go ahead and fall back for now, Squint. Uh, and Fraggy, I want you. Uh, to also start falling back. And clearing this right side, just in case we're going to move to it. Okay, Squint, you're going to apply some holo targeting. Good shot. I'm going to take one shot from Jive here. On a 99. And now that is uh, Iku's plaything. goes in the zone. Alright, now I don't have lock and load on Iku. I do not. Gotta remember what campaign I'm in here. I'm used to all my gunners having lock and load. Or my snipers, I should say. So you can probably take a shot and then just fall back from this situation. That's missed, but you took out a wall. That might be handy later. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fall back now. You might... No, I'd take the roof, but those six lids will come and have fun of you. So let's not take the roof of you, actually, Wolf. On second thought. On my way. I was going to say, that might be a good idea. And then I thought about it, and I thought, no, that's that's not actually a good idea. I just got an Overwatch. Let me get... Uh, jive hold that position for now. Iku, reload. Ready to rock. Hold yourself. And let's just get Moving you back out. here. Overwatching. I've got my eyes on. Okay, so we'll probably want to pull Fraggy back next turn before the Thinmen get more eyes on him. Unfortunately, being the scout, he's actually not too fast. That sounds like a sector pod. Here come the thin men. I think we're going to have eyes on Fraggy, yeah. It's a bit of a shame. I should have just run him further away. They're going to get him right on the edge of that console. Free shots. Oh, big blunder. Look at that. Alloy Shiv's already down half its health. And more to come. Uh, you're from a different era, Fraggy. An era where you weren't going to lose all your health from three Thin Men in a single turn. Well, that's, uh, that's a blunder on my part. But Fraggy can come back to us and 
hopefully be useful against things like chrysalids. He's not going to be useful against projectile enemies, it would appear. Not when you leave him in range of that. Okay. We can bring Merlin around on the side. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Craig, you may not have done much but get shot, but he has actually opened up a flank for us here. Which is awfully kind of him. I'm going to take it. Alright, goodbye thin man. Now let's see here. Okay, you can't quite see nothing. Again, I'd love to take that roof, but not a good idea, I don't think. It's a little bit early to start using dense smoke, but uh, Wolf is, I mean, uh, Melon is going to take some hits from that if we don't do anything. And Kamikaze just can't really engage. We don't really want to be engaging in this position, but I really wanted to take that free flank while I had it, uh, and so I did. What I'm going to do is going to stick oh, people no. over here to cover. In case they run out, but I'm not going to commit any more than that. We'll go. And move up Kamikaze so he's ready for next turn. And we'll go ahead and take a shot on one of them with the 77% the gas long rifle and deal some damage. Or totally miss. I mean, either way. Now, Fraggy needs to fall back, unfortunately. Especially before those lids show up. Alright, we're holding, we'll wait and see what they do. Hopefully, the Valk can tank uh, these two Thin Men shots. And here come the lids, alright, so no overwatch for the Thin Men. Good shooting, though. Great shooting, so that's one lid down. Let's keep track here. Down to. Four lids, I think, total. And here comes fun. Oh, wow. Please don't activate this turn. Oh, thank God. That was a lot of mech. We're going to want to retreat from that very quickly this turn. That was quite beneficial that that did not engage me this turn. That looks like a ton of fun. Okay, so we're going to want to fall back from these lids. And more importantly, from that mech pod. Like right now. That looks about as much fun as a lawsuit. I am not looking forward to that. And I'm already dealing with lawyers, so... Oh, squad site lawyers, my favorite. That's going to be really bad, because they're going to snipe me when I fall back. Oh, you didn't take the last shot, but that one was a bit better. At least they didn't acid you. The negative VR would have hurt. So we need to get the hell back to the back right and get away from the... <laughs> Go do a little fist bump. We need to get the hell back from uh, that mech pod on the left. This is not going to be considerably fun, I don't think. Especially with Eco only having two shots. Whose fault is that, Beagle? Well, gee, I don't know. So let's fall back here. Let's fall the hell back. Yes, I'm they can come to us. That squad site on the Thin Man is going to be really annoying. But let's fall back and make them come to us. Moving out. Affirmative. Okay, take a shot. Dead as Disco. Okay, you're going to fall back, Merlin. Good tanking last round, by the way. Wolf with the hit and run. i got to remember to use my hit and run. Wolf with the hit and run. Good shooting. That's going to be a dead lid as well. Well done. got to remember to use that. I'm not used to Marauders yet. I'm going to fall back now. That's affirmative. Oh, no, no. Take the shot. Crap. I should have taken the shot before I moved. I'm so stupid. Fraggy, go spot for me. Great. Fraggy's making up for the fact that I'm an idiot. Great. Dead and gone. Got no ammo. Gonna Roger pull you that. back here and we're gonna reload you. We're green to go. Fraggy's gonna fall back. Hold your position. Resupply and reload. completed. 
Okay. Here we go. So that's another lid down. Or was that? That was two lids down, I think, with uh, two remaining. There's one on the left. And his buddy's gonna be not far behind. As long as we stay away from that mech pod, we should be okay. Reasonable, reasonable attempt there. Reasonable attempt there, Hunter. You tried. And here comes his buddy. We just gotta watch out for the thin men. The lids ain't a big problem, except they're acting as spotters. Go away! Oh god, the fucking squid like thin men are gonna hit Fraggy. That is the worst. Can't even get away from that. Please tell me they don't all have squad sight. Thank you. Save yourself, Fraggy. Still got four of those damn thin men to deal with, I think. Three to four. God, that squad sight's annoying. Fraggy is just toast. He's gonna have to hide behind a, a full cover log. Do I have the unlimited punch works in this? I can't remember. Oh shit, Jesus! Oh, don't tell me they teleported into view. Oh, fuck. No. No, why? Why'd they teleport into view? Stay away. Well, we ain't gonna have no fun. I ain't gonna get no relief. And I got thin men coming in to fuck me. Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Yep, that is an activation, alright. Sick. That is bad. Oh, Nelly, that's bad. Oh god, my god. My god, okay, Melon, you gotta stay right there and you gotta engage. Because we don't have time to fuck around now, unfortunately. Now or anytime soon. Fuck me, okay. We gotta kill these lids, priority one. Jive's probably gonna have to sit in position as well. I got one shot left. Alright, alright. Do I have Shredder? Okay, okay. So if I come back to here, and then I engage both the lids. Moving to position. One and a two and a... Good. Somebody needs to finish him off, but good. Please tell me you can see him. I know you can't, but just tell me anyway. No, you can't in the zone him. That is not happening. Hunter can in... Uh, not in the zone, but Hunter can get him. Okay, one and a two and a... You're gonna have to kill that guy. Uh. So, squint. You're going to be the one to take this guy out. Or at least, you know, put him on 11. Good job. Now, Iku can take that out. Easily enough. Alright, so we'll hold on that, to that for now. I think what that leads me to do is to bring Merlin around here and engage this thing. So that is a diagonal of 1, 2, 1, 2, I think. 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I come around to this position, I should be good to get a diagonal shot on that mech I think, without drawing fire myself. And that's going to be really important. Please do not get overwatched. Ah, fuck. Well, at least I'm definitely in range. But that is 4 damage I didn't really want to take. Now that said, this is still important. Now I'm going to get the shred on that thing. The shred is going to be important. So we're going to apply the shred. Oh, that is some serious damage. Nice job. All right. Apply that shred. 75. Can you do any better than that? Okay. Rapid fire it. Now we're talking. Hit again. Nice job. Well done, man. Well done. It is 35, what, 25 damage in one round? Well done. In the zone, this thing. 
beastie. You got shot on drones, you got shot in everything. Shot in everything here. Okay. Let's get maybe a dense smoke over here. Maybe if you can cover everyone with that dense smoke. No, then you can't move and shoot. I need you to move and shoot. Although, Wolf can only see this thing, so you know what? Let's just finish off a Wolf, actually. Dead and gone. It's a pretty brutal turn, so if we can just sit still and keep engaging, that would be really good. I'm going to swing one shot over here to make this an end zone. Like, for sure, just make sure it's an end zone. Be certain. Pick that up. Free and easy. Okay. We're going to keep falling back here to make sure we don't fall prey to any nasty thin men. We're going to reload. Now, what do I want to do in this position? I am holding the thin men at bay right now by being here. So that is a plus. I could take a, a shot over there. Maybe do a smoke over here instead of uh, the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It seems possible that I will get flanked though if I try to pull that. So instead, maybe we can just fall back into a, a team smoke here. Which I can't really fall back to any cool positions for that, unfortunately. If I were to full Hunter back, it's possible I could get Jive in a position and get everyone else in position at the same time. So let's see if we can accomplish that, I suppose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you'd have to be here to see Hunter from that position. So that should be fine. So we're going to bring Hunter back to here. Solid copy. Now i got to keep track too. I just killed those two lids. So the two lids are down. I didn't keep track of the mech. I didn't keep track of all that shit, unfortunately. I'm going to throw a dense smoke over here to keep everybody nice and safe. Clouds away. Here goes your dense smoke. And Jive's going to come right back into that, hopefully. I pray. On the move. Looks, looks good. You're in dense smoke. You're in dense smoke. You're in dense smoke. You're all in dense smoke. Good. Okay, we're going to reload. I mean, sorry, Overwatch. Now we've got another Mechton left to deal with, and the Valk has no shots left. But the Gauss Sniper and the Machine Gun do. I'm worried the Gauss Sniper won't have shot. I'm worried EQ's going to be blocked by that tree. And I'm glad I didn't smoke, because those squads like the men are not letting up. He's a... Oh, he's opened himself off for a flank. No. No, yeah, he has. He's staying on that flank. That's really good. We're going to take advantage of that this turn comes drone. Don't go in a dense smoke, please. Oh, beautiful work. Beautiful work, Freggy. Even on two health, you're earning your retirement pay. So yeah, we definitely got at least three Thin Men. But possibly only three. If we can deal with them, we'll be a lot safer. But here is the priority this turn. Big boy Mectoid. And I am glad I fell back because that almost flanked where Jive used to be as well. And the drone definitely could have. So I think it was the right choice. Now that's going to be annoying. If we can get a disable, that'd be a godsend, but I'm a bit worried I'm blocked. Oh no, that should be good. I should be able to disable that Necto this turn. Which might allow me to go after the Thin Men and reload Merlin. Then next turn... There you go. So we got a guaranteed disable over there. That is not an issue. We need to kill these Thin Men on the left. They are becoming a problem. I'm going to Thorn on my side. Now Squint can run over here. Um, but that's a bit wasted, really, when you look at it. Maybe instead Hunter could run over here. Squint could run up close, uh, and pop the guy in the face through the log. Or, I could run over and try to flame them both. But instead, I can disable the Mechdo for this turn, I can start running over there. And then next turn I can think about maybe, uh, hit and running those two Sectoids, and that'll get rid of the shield lickety-split. Or I can just probably punch my way through it this turn, considering Kamikaze has nothing better to do. Even without the Shredder, Kamikaze has nothing better to do, so that might be the best case. 
scenario here. And again, while we can't get this guy about sending Fraggy over... Oh, maybe. Maybe if Jive moves, I'll be able to get to that log. But we don't want Jive to move. Um, regardless, I think the first order of business is rapid firing this Mechtoid. Alright, make it happen then. Heat is a wonderful drug. So that is some damage we're dealing, which is good. I can hit and run it for even more damage, which is good. These are all good things. I think at this juncture we'll move up and uh, engage one of these guys at close range. With a squint, going hard. And that's an issue. Always assume things are about to get worse. We got two mutons at the back and look like four at the front. Four at the front. So it's six is the lucky number today. We got six mutons and that is bad. That is very bad. Oh boy, that's bad. So, what do we do about all these mutons? Ha 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 ha! Great! So they're going to assault Iku's position as well, which is doubly bad. Ha 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 ha! Thanks, mutons. Thank you so much. Okay. Just what I needed. How did this happen? I was just trying to pull one pot at a time. But they were just ran at me, goddammit. Alright. What do we want to do here? This is a no man's land. If I can pull people back to the left next turn, we can't this turn because of uh, Squint. But if I can kill the Sectoids, Mectoids pod uh, by disabling, then next turn we can sprint over here and use it as cover. That's going to leave them, like right here they can assault through these trees, that's good tree assault cover for them. I'm probably going to have to like smoke Iku this turn to make sure he doesn't die. Um, that said though, once we've handled that, you know, ideally if I could kill this thing about using Disabling Shot, I could run Iku this turn. Like having said that, if we can get away in one of these turns, we're golden. We just got to get, we just got to break away. We're going to hole up on this island. We're going to force him to come across the low man's land. So more than ever, I think Wolfa needs to come and murderize uh, this shit. We're just going to ban on the left side. Heading there now. Okay, so kill, 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 kill. It is important that you deal another 10 damage to this thing. Good. That should be a kill, right? Ammo nearing depletion. That should be a kill in any just world. Surely. Kill. Down. We're gonna get out with Iku at least this turn, if not anyone else. Faux show we are getting the fuck out. Because Fraggy and Iku, they have something in common. They both need the bail. They're both Dunskis. They both need to get the fuck out. As much as I'd like to shoot these exposed people, that is what needs to happen. So Iku, run. Fraggy, run. At least we're close to the LZ, worst case. Right? <laughs> uh, um, don't really wanna, I, I want to get the flank, but then that's going to expose me to mutons even more than I already am. If anything, I want to consolidate and smoke right now. Because uh, this, shit's, this shit's shit. This is some shit shit. That's what this is. I want you to take a shot, Jive. Could use some Poor. Target's still up. Okay. Merlin, you need to start yeah. clearing out that left side. Yes, that means running sector overwatches. Oh, God, that's considerable damage for a sectoid, but I'm going to ignore that for now. We need to clear out this left side for the rest of the squad. This is where we're falling back to next turn. Now, that smoke should last through this coming turn. That's affirmative. Bring you over. Gonna take another shot. Pray for a crit. Well, you did your best. Out of ammo here. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and overwatch to try and keep him back. Hopefully the dense smoke keeps us safe. And if we can survive through this turn of no panics and no casualties, we should be able to come left in the coming turn. Oh my god. Venga, 
do not need that right now, man. Do not need that. This is the target. Exceptionally unnecessary. Okay, they're moving in on me. Oh god, you gotta fuck! Yeah, because the sector pod pod took the overwatch. So they don't care now, they're not pinned. They're just moving in. Alright. I see that. We need to get back to the no man's land ASAP. We need that no man's land. We really need to open up a gap between us and the biological enemies like those mutons. I feel like we can take the mech on, but it's the mutons that are the big issue right now. Ah, and you're suppressed. You're suppressed, man. Holy shit. Everyone's suppressed, which is a good move from the mutons. And an annoying move for me. Okay. So that's bad. Please tell me, hypothetically, you guys could make it if I told you to run right now. Uh, you kind of can't, Jive. You kind of can't. You'd have to sit behind a dense smoked Fraggy, and that's bound to end badly. We could potentially make an evac. If I wanted to, if Jive could live through that suppression. Jive has to run a suppression, whatever happens, which is really irritating. Really irritating me right now. The only person who can really help her out is if Iku hit a shot on that suppressing Muton, and I can't really afford that right now. So we've got Sectopod Mech coming in. If I can get to here. They're still going to take the half cover and overwhelm me. Best case I probably got is a withdraw into the evac zone. Maybe I've been playing too many beta 15 campaigns when I actually consider evac in this situation. Doesn't feel like me to evac, but this seems like a pretty poor situation. I mean, I just got... I mean... I don't know, did I hit the command pod? Was one of those thin men an outsider? Because I just got everything coming in right now, and it is... not good. Um... So we're going to come down and have a jive can run an overwatch suppression and get into that evac zone, I think. I mean... There's just not really a lot I can responsibly do here. The resources would be nice, but I don't really need them, and... Speaking responsibly here, getting out with nobody dead would be an accomplishment at this point. I mean, I, I can take this bot back left side. But especially against the squad site Thin Man, it's just not really going to do a whole lot. I don't feel. No, it is not. I can pop a smoke over here. Pop my dense smoke with Hunter. Hunter can then run. Uh, Squint's going to be the first to run. Everyone can make it. So I think we're just going to go for an evac. I think that's honestly the only sensible thing I can do at this point. I don't think there's anything else sensible I could do. Um, uh, just against forces of this array. I mean, you got the Thin Men pinning me from long range. If it's a miracle they haven't acided me yet. You got the Mutons who are closing the grenade range. Next turn, all this cover's gonna go boom. You got the Sectopod, which is its own kettle of fish. Drones and Seekers don't even get me started. And the two Sectoids just wait in the side panic someone. I gotta withdraw from this. What a shame, but we gotta withdraw. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go Operation I'm a Celebrity, get me the fuck out of here. I'm gonna need some uh, dense smoke over here right now. Just gotta confirm I can make it. Yeah, I can make it. What a shame, I was looking forward to getting some resources. You're going to have to apply that dense smoke. Right there. Clouds away. Okay. Squint's going to have to run first, Jive's going to have to run second. And then we all follow, and I'm just confirming... ...that yes, everybody can make it. That is very important to me, obviously. Okay, ja, Squint, you lead the way out of this one. We're going to dash you for maximum chances to not die, because you've got to run two at once. 
Kamikaze, you'll be very sad if you die, Squint, so do your best to run both of these. You gotta run the Muton Suppression and the Sector Pod Overwatch, which is really gonna hit hard. So watch the fuck out. Because nobody wants to run that on their second Overwatch with a 75% chance to hit. I think we're okay. Fuck me. Alright. Oh, and you still have a move for some reason, only God knows. Okay. Now, I wish, I wish, I wish Iku could be in this zone and take out that suppressing mutant at the same time. Maybe if I can get Fraggy in the position, I can flush him out. Um, but I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, but there's, there's nothing better to do than try. Definitely help a lot if I could. But it's looking like a big old no. I'm not going to be able to get that guy off her. She's going to have to run that suppression and that is perilous. That's absolutely perilous. Man, and uh, what to do first here is a real issue. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a second. See, what to do first here is a real issue because... If I run Jive first and Jive dies as a suppression, then there's a possible panic check on everybody. Um, and then, you know, we lose two more people and everyone dies. Um, but if I run Jive last and she gets, God forbid, crit wounded, no one's here It'll keep fighting on her behalf. I guess I just gotta say, you know what, Jive, if you don't dodge that suppression, that is the cruel world of war that we live in. Because I don't have other choices right now. Sorry to say it. Keep we don't have other choices. Jive, we would be slaughtered trying to help you, so please do not die. That is my official instructions to you. Okay. Max, let's do it. En camino al blanco. Nice permanent. This is gonna be tight, Jive. Heading out. Okay, time to make a really good run. Wait for him to fire. Wait for him to fire. Move. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck me. Go, go, go. Alright, get me the hell out of here. Central, big sky is coming home. Mission aborted. Whew, well, I don't really like evacuating from missions very often. Uh, in fact, I don't know how many times I've done it this campaign. Is this the first? I've got such a bad memory. I've probably done it before. Um, but that's a real shame. I would have really liked those resources. But that mission was just not having any of it. But you know what? No one's dead. There by the grace of God, nobody died. And that's a win from that situation, I think. LMAO, I forgot I exhausted them all. So... <laughs> It's definitely painful to not get anything out of that. That was supposed to be a big payoff for me. What could I have done better in that situation? Um, I mean, sheesh. I moved up. I pulled the Thin Men pod. That was the plan. The plan was to pull the Thin Men pod. Um, it was a patrol. Patrolled in. Chrysler's weren't a big deal. That was fine. Um, and then everything just took a dump on me. Uh, I guess the way that played out, uh, I mean, I feel like the only way I could have really prevented that is to have been more aggressive. I mean, I played as defensively as I could in that situation, trying to play the classic siege them out, you know, draw them in as long as you haven't activated the command pod, you shouldn't really draw all the enemies on the map. Um, but that played out like we drew the command pod, that played out like every pod on the map just made a beeline for us, I don't know exactly why. Um, but, you know, they heard the noise. That's that's cricket. You don't need the outside of the tell them where the fight is, I guess. Um, but the point being, if I had gone more aggressive, uh, perhaps I could have wiped out those thin men. You know, back when I said maybe I could have flamethrowed those two guys behind heavy cover. Maybe I could have flamethrowed those two thin men. We take out that pod. Uh, easy does it. Next, we take out the mectoids. You know, we take that pod out in like one turn, two turns. Easy does it. And take out the, me the mutons. Uh, but unfortunately, let them all stack up. Listen to that violin. This music is way too sad. Nobody died. Like... It's, it's alright, game. That music's fitting when someone dies. It's alright right now. You know, it's, it's a little bit much right now. You're overdoing the emotion. Um, 
when everyone's still alive. Um, yeah, I mean, we could have wiped out the pods one at a time, but as it is, it's like a bad base defense, you know? We let the, we let the pods build up. We didn't kill anybody. Um, I mean, of course, if you told me that every pod was coming for me, I would have gone aggressive and known that, but as it is, you know, I assumed we'd have time to play the fool, play the camper, play defensive. Um, didn't work out. We got bum rushed by everything on the map. I'm gonna put that in my little trick, uh, with my little bag of things that can definitely happen, which is getting attacked by everything at once, one turn after the other. Um, jokes, I, I guess I've already had that happen to me, but I don't know, I've forgotten that could happen, I suppose. I was not expecting that at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, beyond really knowing that that's what it would have taken to not die horribly, or not lose horribly, um, I don't know, I felt like being defensive was the right choice, because I didn't want exactly what happened to happen. Um, in the end, it happened. Well, there you go. Um, bit of a shame. Uh, but, I mean, like, the alloys would have been nice, but... What are you gonna do about it? The fact that I exhausted a lot of people for that, bit of a shame. What are you gonna do about it, really? That's, uh, that's XCOM, as they say. Alright, now, no rest for the rick- uh, the- the wicked. The wicked. We must carry on. Uh, the problem with doing these episodes so rarely lately because I've been busy, and sorry, you know, sorry if you, of course, have been waiting to watch LNI. It's been on the back burner for too long. I am very sorry. Uh, people sometimes ask, you know, are you gonna- you, you can actually finish this campaign, Beeg? You know what, I'll tell you if I'm not gonna finish a campaign, don't worry. My intent is to finish this campaign before XCOM 2, come hell or high water. If I have to do three episodes a day, I will, as we get the crunch time, but come hell or high water, this will be finished before XCOM 2. It won't be left in the lurch, don't worry. This will- you will have closure. This will not be, a, uh, abandoned, like, uh, some things. Um... <laughs> temporarily abandoned, I should say, before people make implications of that. Um, you know, it, it's always temporary, because Beagle always intends to start them again. But that's not the case of this anyway. L and I will be finished before XCOM 2, that's gonna happen. Um, but actually what I was gonna say is, I'm constantly forgetting my strategy, uh, and I think for the past two or three months I've been forgetting how exactly I intended to do this base assault. This base assault's been coming for- and again, I apologize for the blue balls for so long. Um... I, I really commend you if you're still here watching L and I because it's like if The Walking Dead had or, or you know Game of Thrones had a giant mid-season break and you lost all interest, you know. Actually The Walking Dead does have a giant mid-season break, but the point is I'm not AMC. I don't have those production values, so they've got more ways to, to reel you back in afterwards. I've kinda gotta keep you going. Um on the plus side here, looks like I can get advanced repair, which will be really handy both for the air game and for the mechs. So I think I should get uh, I think I should snap straight into that. I need to snap into that Slim Jim. Um, but, you know, this is what I was talking about, when it's been like, you know, a week, two weeks, a month since my last time I played this campaign, especially because I'm screwing my mind up playing uh, my other Beta 15 campaign every twice a week. You know, it's like I, I go, oh, was I saving these allies for anything? Oh my god, you know, I can't fucking remember, so um, I, I, I kind of have to go through everything again. Um, I've got an ally belt coming. I mean, I'd imagine Advanced Repair would be a pretty cool thing to buy right now. I don't think I was particularly I'll make sure production anything else. Begins immediately. Let's go for it. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Let's get that advanced repair. Uh, and then let's continue on. Yes, I'll, I'll pass on all of those, I suppose. Alright. Let's uh, carry on here, then. Contact detected. You're shitting me. No, you ain't. You ain't gonna taunt me like that. Contact detected. Oh, you little fucks. Oh, pool's open, guys. Biggs just didn't put up a fight. You can just do whatever you want. You just take all the- You son of a bitch. You just take all the resources you want. Biggs can't stop you. <laughs> you motherfucker. You think you can god- You think you can just do that? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. You can't do that to me. Fuck you. You can't do that to me. Fuck you, you can't do that to me. Fuck you, you can't tease me like that. You can't mock me. I ain't gonna stand for this. Nuh uh. I'm prouder than this. Hang on, I gotta t I gotta skip, I gotta take you a lot of side training. We're doing this. Fuck you, game.
Now, it seems to me what we have here with the A's is a failure to communicate. Because it seems like to me that the aliens saw me evac from one harvester and say, Oh, well, we can just land all the harvesters we want. We fucked his roster from the base defense. He's got to fatigue all his, you know, his the last troops he's got left to go on this one. And he just lost with a better team than the one he'd have to send. So clearly he's not going to send a team on this mission. But you see, what the A's don't understand is I don't give a shit. I fucking hate aliens, all right? Now, I'm not motivated by, you know, the need to win a medal from the Academy of Commanding. You know, I don't really need my... I don't really need a commendation for anything I do. I just fucking hate aliens. I want aliens to die. And you know what really makes me angry is seeing aliens alive and seeing them happy. So it really makes me angry to see aliens having fun at my expense. That's like the worst kind of fun that aliens could be having. Uh, and it's about as far as you can get from aliens being dead is when you have smug aliens. So that's why I'm going to go fuck this harvester up because it's about sending a message. It's not even about the Illyrium. It's not about the alloys. It's not about the power sources. It's about sending a message. Now, to do that, we have really cleaned out the absolute last we have of this roster. Uh, Kilroy, Stoli were ready within, like, you know, uh, enough hours to become unfatigued. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we had to pull the snipers out of side training, that's fine. But unfortunately, um, Organ was, like, just one hour on the wrong side of the 15 hour time. He had 15 hours on the dot, so he wouldn't have made it in time. So we're exhausting him. We're exhausting j -Bells. I know, it's the last archer, I don't give a shit, I hate aliens. We're exhausting these two. Um, yeah. Fuck aliens. So let's just put Varid back in there. We've got Carapace and everybody. Uh, you'll notice a lack of Shatter Rays, uh, sorry, um, Stutter Guns. Uh, simply because we do not have enough long-range firepower without a gunner or an infantry to bring Stutter Guns. We need maximum firepower. Everybody here needs to be a Rifleman first. Uh, their class second. So W and Stoli need to be firing those rifles. Organ needs to be firing those rifles. Organ's gonna be real fat, real slow. Uh, but we're gonna have to make up for it somehow with a uh, clever positioning of him. Because we need to be firing those fucking rifles. We need to be taking things out. We're doing two snipers because that's what's available. And, you know, luckily enough, uh, it's an abductor. You know, the map's gonna be big. We can hopefully use it. So we got Kung Tan on the, uh, Kung Tan on the Gauss long rifle. Kung Tan there. And we got Verid on the uh, beam laser sniper, a little bit of a blast from the past there. Um, apart from that, we got some grenades and battle scanners on Stoli. Need those scanners on somebody. Uh, we don't have a scout, so lightning reflex is a bit of a problem. No tanking mech. We have no absorption fields mech, so no one to tank really. Pete's gonna have to do, uh, you know, her best, I think, with um, damage control. Um, but, you know, shock absorbing armor is good if we're getting close, but really apart from that, no absorption fields, so we gotta watch those big hits. She can't tank sector pods or anything like that. Kilroy is the person bringing the shredder ammo. So that's going to be pretty dangerous for her. Luckily, we got the Titan armor and the Chitin for her. Titan Chitin is a uh, combo that rhymes for a reason because it's good. We got plenty of dense smoke on Megkits on WMC, so that hopefully, in between what is a long mission, we can heal up the mechs and then keep going. Uh, and perhaps uh, one of the best things is we do have the Archer. We have J Bals on this mission with the Heat, Mayhem, Danger Zone, Mines, Pack Master. The only thing we're missing is Absorption Field slash Grenadier or whatever. So that's pretty much a high speed, good to go Archer, which I'm happy about. Uh, that's about it. We're gonna have to lean really heavily on these snipers. We're gonna have to lean on uh, a couple of rockets to get through the really hard engagements from Morgan. Comboing that with the Archer mines should see us through any real clusterfucks as long as we are in range to engage. But if we're out of range to effectively use that, uh, or out of position to effectively use the proxy mine rocket combo, and especially if our snipers have trouble converting shots to kills, or shots to at least good damage, um, this squad really is gonna suffer because it's a really weakened um, core of, you know, Engineer, Assault, Shogun, Medic, there's no infantry, there's no gunner. You haven't got those men of the line, you haven't got those classes of the line, just, uh, who are really good at just fighting in any situation. We've got to make sure these classes are employed to the situations that suit them, because they're not really very general. With that said, we're gonna get the hell in there, and we're gonna, we're gonna go fuck aliens, because I, I fucking hate aliens. Fucking, fuck, fuck aliens. <laughs> Dropship has arrived. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. The alien craft landed in a remote area, which should help to minimize any risk to the surrounding community. We need to investigate and eliminate any hostile forces encountered. 
So what's good about Bradford is he's always got his mind on the community. He's a man of community values at heart. He's a, he's a good man. So that's going to be Operation Fall and Breath. I got like at least two dudes in here who need to put some shirts and, and some clothes and some armor on. Uh, we're going to get that sorted out before we land. Uh, but until next time, have a good one. Uh, see you again. Hope you had fun. Uh, and uh, good luck me next time, I guess. Bye-bye.